The Devon Wildlife Trust has worked with farmers in North Devon for over 25 years. We provide surveys, advice, practical help with machinery and grazing, and help with grants. The Nature Improvement Area project covers the whole of the River Torridge catchment, which is about 72,000 hectares of North Devon. And it's all about trying to protect and connect up all the existing areas of wildlife habitat, whether that's con grassland or woodland or hedgerows, and really trying to make sure that that landscape in the long term has everybody involved in managing it so that it's a working landscape, it's a profitable landscape, but also wildlife can flourish all the way through it. So it's absolutely crucial. And we are very lucky in this area to have so many farmers who really want there to be flourishing wildlife on their landholding as part of a working, profitable farm. I'm Brian Hurd. We farm at Deptford Farm, which is in the parish of Hartland. I farm it in partnership with my wife, Wendy, and also my son, Stephen. Deptford Farm has been in the Hurd family for something over 100 years. Uh, my dad moved here with his parents. We're basically a uh, beef and a sheep farm. Comb grassland has always been there as a result of heavy clay land that we've got. And whereas other farms, perhaps 30 years ago, were being paid to, to drain it and improve it, uh, we never sort of did that. We went into the higher level stewardship scheme, uh, assisted by Becky Aston. Obviously our higher level stewardship payments are, are a big benefit uh, towards the profit of the farm. We have now taken on quite a large management scheme, whereas we're, we're clearing scrub that has increased over the years. See, yes, I would like to think that it, it remains in the family. Uh, I would also like to think that, you know, that Stephen can make an honest living out of it. These sites are important mainly because they're, they're largely focused in the uh, southwest of Devon and Cornwall, a small bit in Brittany as well, but it's a very small area where they're found um, and they're rapidly disappearing. Because it's so wet, it's a very difficult habitat to manage. And once the site's abandoned, it can disappear in sort of 10 years, really. Having healthy colm, the benefits are that you get all the wildlife that comes with it, but also colm is brilliant at holding up flood water. Because of the heavy clay soils, it can act as a sponge, essentially. So it's really good at slowing down runoff from land, but also reduces the flood risk. I'm Steve Pomeroy. We uh, farm at Wedfield Farm in North Devon. We've got 500 acres and 450 dairy cows. Quite an intensive dairy farm. And we've got 25 to 30 acres of coal and grassland. Well, we moved from entry level stewardship onto higher level stewardship, and that, that got uh, Devon Wildlife Trust involved. My father, being of the older generation, just thought it was a waste of time. Uh, it's always, like, always been like that, so why change it? With the funding available, we were able to fence it, clear out the, the scrub land. This area has been just dormant for generations, really. Never stocked it with, with anything, never been able to. Um, just been too dense. Uh, but now we've got these ponies. Uh, they've been able to make the tracks through, clear, eat down uh, the willow a bit tighter and make it much more productive for us. I'm Rupert Weatherall, farming at Leasefield Farm, uh, Howell Junction, B Worthy, Devon. We're farming 237 acres, largely beef and sheep, with just over 100 acres of uh, calm grassland. Well, when we walked around initially with the agent, um, I walked around the conventional land, and uh, um, you know, although some of it was wet, the topsoils were very fertile. And then we went out, um, we looked at the uh, uh, and what we now know as calm grassland, which I remember looking at initially and thinking, my God, what a mess. Um, I think we'll sell this on and you know, buy something a bit better. You know, how wrong was I? Uh, the fact that we've had advice and help all the way along from Devon Wildlife, I mean, they've just been absolutely invaluable. Because of um, scheme money available, we've been able to remove a lot of unnecessary scrub We've now got a lot of target species re-established um, in these grasslands. There's karmas and there's wormers, uh, um, you know, there's all sorts uh, in these pastures. The way the cattle put on condition and do on these pastures is just fantastic.
They've got a machinery ring which is invaluable. You know, one of the pieces of kit we used initially was a soil slitter, which breaks up surface compaction, lets the you know oxygen around the root of the plant, and the water is then able to, to filter through to the shillet, and it's a lot cheaper to be using a slitter than covering everything with nitrogen. I guess there'll be conventional farmers probably listening to this, uh, um, feeling very sceptical about it, you know, and it would have been initially nobody more sceptical than myself. Um, but it works. We have 16 different organisations who are partners in this project, which is led by Devon Wildlife Trust and it's within the Biosphere Reserve in North Devon. But the broader partnership is the whole community across the River Torridge catchment. All of the landowners we've worked with, all of the different parishes and communities and schools we've worked with, everybody is working towards a really big vision, which will take probably well over 50 years to achieve in trying to make sure there is room for wildlife and environmental quality in the way the land is managed, make sure there's involvement in that, make sure there's investment in that and celebration of it. For just a little bit of investment in advisory work, in helping to support the community, in helping to unlock grants, as a partnership we can achieve really, really big things for this area. We've barely started in the last few years and I hope we can continue for a long time to come.